hello viewers and welcome to my channel and today's topic is a random glucose test and um, before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, now i come to the topic uh, what is a random glucose test you know the glucose testing uh, is a random blood test to check the glucose levels you know and uh, it's usually done by uh, just simply pricking the finger to draw a small drop of blood you know and uh, this blood is then uh, wiped onto a like test strip that will give you the glucose reading you know and this is a powerful tool to for the people with the diabetes you know and it can help to assess how well uh, diabetes is being managed you know and your diabetes uh, is uh, also known as blood sugar you know is uh, uh, blood glucose you know or, you know diabetes mellitus is the full name you know uh, it's a disease uh, that affects your body's ability to release the insulin from your pancreas once the sugars are turned into glucose you know and the insulin allows the glucose to enter the a bloodstream and release the energy you know okay and uh, in diabetes this function does not work properly okay and the some early symptoms of the diabetes are excessive urination and uh, uh, thirst you know and this is caused by the sugar build up in the blood that is uh, not absorbed you know and it's filtered out uh, through the kidneys in large amounts which can uh, lead to dehydration you know and uh, other symptoms may include like weight loss, maybe blood VM being tired constantly, you know, fatigue, you know, and uh, tingling in arms and legs, you know, uh, sore gums and uh, slow healing, you know. So these are the common signs and the symptoms of uh, early symptoms, in fact, you know. The next thing is uh, understanding this test, you know. You know, the glucose testing uh, helps keep the track of the symptoms and manage the diabetes, you know. And the random glucose test uh, varies are uh, depending on the like uh, uh, the last time you ate you know and if you are testing uh, within one hour within one to two hours of uh, after the eating you know the sm uh, start of meal you know uh, the glucose levels uh, under the 180 uh, uh, mg per de deciliter you know and uh, uh, before the meal uh, it can be between 80 and uh, 130 mg per dl you know and the normal glucose is uh, less than 140 mg per deciliter you know okay and the chance of the impaired glucose it all it, like uh, tolerance or the pre-diabetes is 140 to 199 you know okay so it's known as impairment you know and the chance of diabetes is if it's over 200 you know so these are the interpretation of the results you know and the normal glucose reading uh, for someone without diabetes is uh, lower than 140 mg per dl and if the reading is anywhere between 140 and 199 you know there is a chance uh, you suffer from impaired glucose tolerance you know so this is otherwise known as pre-diabetes and there is a chance it can develop into type 2 diabetes you know and if the reading uh, is higher than 200 mg per dl you know there is a high chance you have diabetes you know and a doctor may schedule another glucose test for you to uh, if it is positive for diabetes you know and uh, uh, there are a number of factors that can contribute to an inaccurate reading which may include like uh, certain medications or maybe some illnesses you know and if you have diabetes blood pressure levels are based on and uh, sorry uh, those blood glucose levels are based on age how long you have had it for and the initial blood tests you know so uh, keeping track of all the uh, results right uh, so keep the diary you know and uh, note all the results you know date wise you know and the stress the activity and the food they can make uh, the results very so keeping note of what you are doing what have you eaten so these are very crucial readings you know and uh, if the readings are too high or too low uh, for a number of days in a row you know uh, it may be the time to consult your doctor and going over a target uh, level with the doctor 
and changing the plan can give the better results you know the next thing is what is the purpose of the uh, random glucose test you know well in adults uh, without diabetes uh, glucose levels are managed through the actions of insulin and the uh, body's uh, use of the sugar for energy you know and if the received random glucose test uh, throughout the day uh, their glucose levels would remain relatively stable you know and this would be true even if they uh, varied their diet you know they experienced stress or uh, they ate different times of the day you know and if the people with the diabetes and the pre-diabetes glucose levels can vary widely over the course of day you know and this particularly true if the diabetes is not well managed you know and uh, the random t in in these people the random test results will vary widely you know and this may also be like uh, uh, consistently high you know and the random test is uh, uh, the one performed outside your uh, normal testing schedule you know and, uh, and the random testing is an important part of the diabetes management and if the random glucose levels are acceptable your strategy is working you know and the wide swing in your levels just that uh, you need to change your management plan you know and it can include your diet your kind of exercise your lifestyle your uh, medications you know and you should remember that the high sugar levels are what cause the complications as seen with the diabetes over the time you know and the symptoms of acute high like uh, um, blood sugar levels include like uh, uh, increased third uh, thirst you know increased urination uh, slow healing and the blood vein you know okay and uh, if you have diabetes uh, paying close attention to the symptoms is very important and be sure to test immediately if you feel you are experiencing the symptoms of low blood sugar and the random blood glucose readings can help you to identify the hyperglycemia you know which means the low blood sugar you know and uh, avoid any uh, chronic complications you know and testing your blood sugar levels at various times throughout the day can help you manage the diabetes in a better way and reduce the uh, uh, risk of complications you know and the only way you can know what your blood sugar level is to test the uh, glucose levels on a regular basis you know and uh, the random glucose testing uh, isn't uh, the substitute for the normal glucose testing schedule you know you should also perform the fasting tests and the post meal tests okay and uh, a fasting blood glucose test is usually performed uh, once you wake up in the morning you know before you eat anything you know and the post meal uh, blood glucose tests measure glucose levels around 2 hours after the meal you know and the different uh, testing times will uh, yield the different results you know and they are affected by the food you eat uh, the stress maybe the medications you are taking and uh, the exercise and other lifestyle uh, activities you know and it's very important to test every day and this helps you to get uh, a sense of your overall blood control level you know and uh, it can help you to make like treatment decisions or any diet plan changes you know or maybe lifestyle changes you know so testing is the best way to learn how well your medicines are working or uh, uh, if you need to make any lifestyle changes or any changes in the medications or both maybe you know and uh, you know exercise can play a very important role uh, in your random glucose test results and generally exercise will lower your glucose levels you know and uh, uh, it may even require you to adjust your insulin regime you know and if you are on intensive insulin therapy uh, this should not discourage you from exercising and exercise is one of the best ways to help you to control the diabetes you know and the most people with diabetes gain benefit uh, from even uh, moderate exercise you know and the exercise increases your body's ability to use the insulin insulin and it also burns your extra glucose in your bloodstream you know and in the long term the exercise will lead to more stable random glucose test results you know now the diabetes is a serious condition you know there is no cure for it but it can be managed by the proper care by the diet plan by the medications by the lifestyle changes you know and this is uh, 
healthy behavior changes combined with good glucose monitoring you know and if you find that your glucose uh, levels uh, just are not getting under control you know it's time to speak to your doctor and uh, you need evaluation and maybe he will uh, plan a good uh, lifestyle diet and medication plan for you you know according to the uh, readings of test readings you know test results you know Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you.